QRadar dashboard is that nice looking screen that you want to have the different pieces of information that should catch your attention and uh, is your window is your entry point to the different components uh, of uh, QRadar so for example in here we see this one in uh, we can actually this is networking events and we can actually dive in into uh, the network view instead of going to the network activity notice that it takes us automatically to the network activity and we can actually see the very same charts we saw before the time base uh, with, with this one which has them uh, located by uh, type of application and in fact you can switch the view and switch it by you know something else if you want to and uh, you can actually select the the time interval that you want this sample to be uh, taking place you can actually zoom in into whatever aspect of the graphics you want to see and you can you know look at oh what that peak might be oh well, this is you know oh this one in here is a data transfer will windows file sharing oh you know, BitTorrent. What is this BitTorrent type of thing? And then you have it here classified by, but uh, by uh, source IP doing the 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 peer-to-peer -peer transfer, and you can actually click in it and dive in into all those events, and you have them graphic graphically uh, the the top ten events graphically uh, spread in here. You can scroll that out, and actually you can see you know one of these IP addresses. And you can see the details of that actual traffic. What is it doing the, the transfer to? And uh, notice that when you hover over the that particular IP address, you see who the actual user of the address is. It's Angela Greer. Uh, in the same way, let's go back to the dashboard and let's see this. For example, firewall deny by port and again you can actually zoom in and, and look here from the dashboard or you can actually go into the log activity and see that view into uh, greater detail but you can also do you know some quick searches now that I'm on the logs for example let me show you and I'm going to show you the searches because we will cover the log activity later but I want to show you that everything that you do in in a curator is a search and you can put the results of a chart as an applet on your dashboard as a report you know or, or, or uh, in anywhere that, that you do it so here in the quick searches you have a bunch of already pre-done searches for you that are actu actually very very useful and you can actually create a new search and we're going to do that and we're going to put in the dashboard this is to illustrate how easy it is to configure that nice looking dashboard so let's create a new search and this is an advanced search uh, and you can see, let's say that you're interested on windows events and logins to windows and we as you type in windows you see all these available searches already for you that you can actually take them and, and customize it the way you want or if we you are interested in firewalls you here in firewall and let's say that you are interested in uh, putting in the dashboard this uh, firewall denies for outbound traffic so this is your actual search and you can actually change the filters add filters remove filters and, and make it you know as sophisticated as you want that search to be for now we're just gonna leave it the way it is but what we're gonna be doing in here is select this checkbox here and say include in my dashboard okay so we want to have actually that view it, it hasn't populated anything right now because it hasn't if we show the chart it hasn't received any data but as the data begins to pop up we will see these uh, being populated to, uh, with uh, data so now if we go back to the dashboard all we need to do is add that item and this is part of the log activity is one of the event searches and it should be here to the end that we add it and this is default firewall routers denied and if we scroll down to the bottom of the dashboard we'll see it right here and as the, again as data begins to populate we will see that nice chart in here say we don't like that one uh, we can actually take it away 
you don't need a, a PhD on the tool to actually use it. It's easy to install, easy to deploy, so you can focus on, on knowing what's happening on your on your uh, organization and keep it uh, secure.